Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to get right into the video, so no beating around the bush today. I'm going to talk about three subtle signs of autism in women. As we know, autism can present differently in women than in men. One is intense focus on a person, band, or celebrity. How many of you, when you were teenagers or younger, you just had a passion for a certain celebrity or group? Um, for me, it was a boy band. It was New Kids on the Block, and um, specifically, it was Jonathan Knight. So I had all of his posters on my wall, and I'm not sure what I liked about him because for some of you, you may have had to know everything about that celebrity. You wanted to know their birthday, what they like, what they enjoy, what they did. I was kind of the opposite of that. I wanted their image only. I didn't care to know about them as a person. To me, to say that sounds narcissistic, but it was what it was. All I needed was some good posters of him and I was good. Let me know if you can relate. Did you have an obsession with somebody, an actor or singer, and you collected all of their, their, their posters and things, but you didn't feel like you had to know anything much about them? That subtle trait, number one, intense focus on a celebrity or band. Okay, the second subtle trait of autism in women can be anxiety and depression. If you have autism, you probably have social anxiety. They go hand in hand. Um, but the depression part, have you ever experienced depression in your lifetime? I know I have. I know I can relate to that. And it could just be because we don't understand why we feel so different from other people. It makes sense why we would, we would be depressed. You know, as a child, you, you're already learning you're different from other girls. And then as a teenager, even more so, I was more depressed during those years and even had suicidal thoughts. I was so unhappy with life. So that's the second subtle trait that you could have had autism. And then subtle trait number three, disliking uncomfortable clothes. You maybe cannot stand the tags in your shirt. Now I've noticed sometimes companies make shirts, they don't even have tags in them anymore, I guess because so many people are autistic and don't like tags. But the shirt I'm wearing right now doesn't even have a tag in it. I prefer something comfortable as much as I can. When I'm not working, I come home and throw on my, my baggy pants and my t-shirt or pajama jeans. I wear my pajama jeans every day if I could. I love my pajama jeans. But maybe certain textures are uncomfortable to you. Now, I grew up in the 70s and... We wore all kinds of uncomfortable clothes. You know, you had the fabric that was scratchy, itchy, yucky, mm, turtlenecks, you know, turtlenecks that we wore. I, you know, as a kid, I really just wore whatever my mom put out on the bed for me to wear because I thought I was supposed to. I never knew I could, could challenge her um, authority as to why not to wear something. I never voiced my opinion. So that's a, I'm sure that's another, another reason my parents didn't realize I was autistic. Pretty much wore anything she put out because she put it out for me. I was supposed to wear it, so I wore it. So I had a pair of plaid green bell bottoms I remember in first grade, and they were an itchy fabric, and I didn't like them. I wore them. I wore whatever. I didn't speak up for how I was feeling. I pretty much kept that all to myself. So my mom just didn't know, really. Um, I'm sure if I had told her, she would have gotten me something different to wear, but I just thought that's what I was supposed to wear, so I wore it. I am very particular about what I wear, and I'm sure you are too. If you're on the spectrum, you probably feel the same way. It's a subtle trait of autism. Scratchy. It's just the itchiness, just the itchiness, the scratchy, itchy. So these were just three subtle traits of, you know, possibly have autism, but you know, it should all be taken seriously. And whether you are officially diagnosed or seeking a diagnosis or self-diagnosis, it's all something to think about. 
And just because you've met one autistic person, it doesn't mean we're all the same. We're all different, you know, different likes and dislikes, but there's some commonalities there too to consider. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which one of those subtle traits that you could relate to, one, two, or all of them. From time to time, I know some of you will tell me that you don't have an autism diagnosis, but you suspect you might be autistic. Or those of you that already were diagnosed as autistic, sometimes we like to do these online tests just to kind of recheck ourselves. I found one online on the Psychology Today website, and it's the Autism Spectrum Quotient. So I'm going to take that test and see if it uh, comes back as definitely autistic or not. It was first published in 2001 by Simon Baron Cohen and his colleagues at the Cambridge Autism Research Center as part of a widely cited study entitled The Autism Spectrum Quotient. So let's see what the results are. Your score was 44 out of a possible 50. Scores in the 33 to 50 range indicate significant autistic traits autism. Concerned about your score? Chat online with a licensed therapist. Well, at least the test was free, right? So it just further verifies what I already know anyway. So take this test and Go to psychologytools.com. Let me know what your scores were down in the comments. Put them down. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, when you like or comment or share my video or subscribe to my channel, it pushes my video out to other people so they can get this information or just come to a channel where they can meet someone with autism and learn things about themselves and follow me on this journey of autism as I share with you about it. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and um, I really love this community and thank you for being a part of that. You're the major reason I couldn't be where I am on this channel without you. And so thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.